Hi there, and welcome back to Lift Off and Travel. This is Alex and Brent, and we're here at the Sheraton Hotel at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. Tomorrow we are flying Cathay Pacific to Hong Kong, but that's another story. Let's check in. When we arrived, we used the lower level entrance for the hotel, which requires leaving the terminal into the open air, crossing the bus terminal, and then you need to use the lifts which can be found on the right hand side of the back before traveling up one level. Alternatively, on the same level as reception, you'll find this long row of windows. If you go through the automatic doors and turn right, you walk along a covered walkway into the terminal. This is the reception, isn't it stunning? We are so impressed with the design and the staff were really friendly and welcoming. The best part, for being a Merit Elite member, they've upgraded the room to include lounge access and breakfast. How nice is that? The reception area also has some very stylish seating and a complimentary fruit infused water station. Round the corner, you'll find a little shop with snacks, fruit, wine, crisps and coffee. If you're enjoying the video so far, please subscribe and like below to support the channel. If you haven't done so already, once we get to a thousand subscribers, one lucky person will be getting one of our amenity kits from our travels. Details for the room and how much we paid can all be found in the description below. When you first come in, the bathroom is on your left. There's a large mirror on the right and a coat hanger stuck to the wall. I personally would not have picked these colours at the design stage. I'm not the biggest fan of wood, but somehow when blended together, this creates a really homely and warm feeling. The TV is a really good size. Below, you'll find the remote control and two complimentary bottles of water. As well as a Euro plug, two USBs and an HDMI. Brilliant! Like the Sheraton at London Heathrow, there are plugs everywhere. It's worth noting though, it was recently refurbished. There are plenty of comfortable and different seating options for working or relaxing. And we enjoyed the variety of lighting. Not one corner felt dark or gloomy. On the left hand side of the bed is a good sized table, light switches, two euro plug sockets, a USB and impressively one USB-C. At the first glance the right hand side doesn't seem as impressive. There is a telephone, a single euro plug and a standard USB socket. However, it also comes with a smart alarm clock which allows wireless charging and has a further two USB sockets. The bed was really comfortable and large and I almost think you could lose someone in it. You want to see the bathroom, don't you? Good. It's a really decent sized bathroom and the layout is pleasing, even if the shower is tucked away in the corner. I'm enjoying the mix of different whites and greys. The towels were reasonable, but not the most luxurious. This seems to be common within the Sheraton brand, which is a shame because it's mid-level premium. The bathroom is packed full of goodies. There's a hairdryer, two water glasses, body lotion, a bar of soap, two flannels and a box of tissues. I'm always pleased to see conditioner, as well as shampoo and a separate body wash. These are the same that can be found in the Sheraton at London Heathrow. They smell good and they lather really nicely. Shower on the other hand, I have no issues with the height and it was a good choice having a square ceiling tray. But, unless they are being environmentally conscious, the pressure was a little bit underwhelming. Ooh, that was close. I was distracted by the lounge access and nearly forgot to show you the cupboards next to the bed. I know, really exciting aren't they? some but not many hangers, an ironing board and an iron, some drawers with a bible and the Book of Mormon. The all important drinks, coffee and tea station, which with Marriott hotels is always really well stocked. You can tell we're excited can't you? We're heading downstairs to see what goodies we can find in the lounge. The main floor of the reception is a really pleasant bar and restaurant which has a Delay Cafe type area with some tempting treats. With plenty of seating and a nice bar, isn't it cosy? If you continue past the cafe, you're presented by a wall of glass with a black frame. And this is the Marriott Lounge. Plenty of seating in here, cosy chairs, a workstation with computer and printer, and a living green wall, and news on the TV. We didn't arrive at the hotel until 7.30 at night, so we don't know if they had complimentary food. What we did find was a good selection of wine, a smart coffee making machine, 
soft drinks, of which I chose the bitter lemon, mm. Maltesers and toffee, mm, delicious, and some mixed nuts. Probably you spent 10 minutes in here. We were keen to get up as early as possible for tomorrow's flight, which departs at 12.30. Both had a really warm and comfortable sleep, but we're off to a bad start because after opening the curtains, this was the view. Well, what would have been the view if it wasn't for very heavy fog? Never mind. A quick wash and we're off to breakfast. That's always exciting. It always intrigues me. A very clever, no steam heated mirror. We had assumed that the breakfast would probably be in the lounge or at the deli cafe restaurant on the reception level. Nope. The main Buffy breakfast can be found one floor above this. Not the most challenging of layouts, but this hotel can be, can be quite confusing. This is your first time staying here. The layout isn't overly complicated, but it's a really big hotel and we found it a little confusing. It almost needs a map. Ah, we've made it to breakfast. Another beautifully designed space and the seating was really outweighed by the amount of people here for 9am. Spooky was, out of all the tables in here, we were ushered to a table that looks right out over our flight for later. Spooky. Buffet was extensive and a slightly different take on a Western breakfast. I'll let the food do the talking. By the way, if you haven't already, please help us by subscribing and liking below. By doing so, once we get to a thousand subscribers, you could be the proud holder of an amenity kit from one of our travels. Before we check out, why don't we summarise our stay here at the Sheraton Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, starting with the breakfast. There was so much choice, we couldn't have possibly tried everything, and we are consistently impressed by the breakfast at Marriott Hotels. Eventually get a somewhat decent view out the window. I know this looks Instagram trendy, but this is not comfortable. The room was really comfortable and we felt right at home. Our only issues were with the shower pressure and the towels. There is no doubt in our mind we would definitely stay here again and not just for the convenience of the location. We have a flight to catch, so it's pedant in Dutch and thank you in English.